taking a walk on the beach and I found some professional sandcastle builders. So I'm gonna talk to them right now. My name is Johnny Sandcastle. How long have you been a professional sandcastle builder? All my life. I was born building sandcastles. Uh, this is going to be my greatest creation. It's going to be the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. Looks a little unfinished right now, but uh, trust me, you're gonna be amazed when it's finished. I've been here on this beach for 23 years now, and sand castling is my life. Uh, or castling, as the you know people in the industry call it. Um, so, uh, what are some of these special tools you're using? Well, I like to use found materials as my tools. I come to the beach, whatever nature provides me, that's what I use. So here I got a piece of, of uh, sea grass dried out in the Florida sun. And using that to smooth the sides, I'll, I'll use the tip to create detail work. You know, making some trestles here, trusses and uh, we'll put some seashells on top. And of course the number one ingredient, sand. You gotta have good sand. It's gotta be the right consistency. It's gotta have the right moisture content so it holds together. And uh, it's gotta have the right grain size. So how does this sand compare to say uh, West Coast sand? Oh, this sand, they're totally different. This sand is unbeatable. East Coast sand, Florida sand, you can't beat it. West Coast sand is too grainy. It doesn't hold together. It's uh, it's just much much loose looser structure. Uh, Florida sand, it's the best sand in the world, and hands down, there's just no comparison. So for a structure like this, typically, how long does it take for you to from start to finish? Once you find a good spot, how long does it take you to create it? And do you just do you do any plans, or you just kind of have it all in your head. Well, it may not look like it, but I've been working on this structure here for about two weeks. Um, you know, I, I keep coming back to it. It just speaks to me. And uh, I built and rebuilt this structure about a hundred times and I, I still am working on the details. So it's hard to say, you know, one iteration might take me anywhere from 30 minutes to four hours. I don't consider it finished until I've built it maybe a hundred or two hundred times. Okay. So when I came out here last night, there was a full moon and I noticed there was a, there was one of those big fake rocks in this exact spot. Was that to protect your work overnight? I do sometimes cover up. I could use a tarp or an umbrella or sometimes a fake rock if I think people are going to be, you know, looking under my tarp to see what's under there. Um, but that's only if I, I feel like uh, there's gonna be a lot of people out on the beach at night. Usually I can leave it and it, I'll come back in the morning and it'll still be mostly, mostly okay. Yay. On a full moon, that people was, like to come out to the beach, sorry. so I usually try and I'm cover it up. It. I notice your fingernails have a special shape to them. Does that aid in, in oh, the yeah. building of the sandcastles? That, that lets you do the detailed work. Uh, you got to get in there. You got to get individual grains, move them around, get get right in there, and create the tiny, fine details that you can only get with your your own tools, your fingernails. We'll come back and visit a uh, Johnny Sandcastle a little bit later when he's a little farther along on this. But for now, we're gonna go check out the water. All right. Good yeah. talking to you. Okay, we're back here with Johnny Sandcastle and looks like his apprentice. Looks like he put some finishing touches on this tower here, but before we reveal it, tell us a little bit about some of the work that went into it and the planning and the strategy. Well, I have to give credit to Johnny Sandcastle II. Uh, this is really his brainchild. Uh, he was the inspiration behind this. He came up with the original design and plan and uh, we worked as a team to execute and uh, I just I'm really happy with the way it turned out 
and I have to give a lot of the credit to Johnny Sandcastle II, or the uh, second as I like to call him for short. Uh, second, do you want to take some time to uh, tell them how you came up with this idea? Well, we were all doing a sandcastle building contest, and so I came up with the idea of the Eiffel Tower, and then when we started building it, um, I, I thought it, it would be cool to um, like have a road by it and all sorts of other stuff by it. So are you planning to uh, build out the rest of the city, the Arc de Triomphe and uh, all that stuff? Maybe. How about you? Oh yeah, we, we definitely have big plans. Uh, we're going to build the Louvre, we're going to build uh, a Rodin Sculpture Garden, recreated life-size. Of course, this Eiffel Tower is not quite life-size, almost, but not quite. Uh, but some of the other features are going to be life-size. Uh, we're going to have Monet's Water Lilies at the Orange Museum and uh, a lot of other of your City of Lights attractions that you're familiar with and you love so much will be recreated in sand. It'll feel like you're in Paris. You won't even realize that you're in Florida. All right, now it's time for the big reveal. So um, you guys saw what it looked like a little bit earlier when he was just starting. Mm -hmm. Now he's got the finishing touches on it. And uh, yeah, I, I think you're gonna be astounded oh at my. The, the level of detail. It's basically a 100% accurate reproduction of the Eiffel Tower down to the nuts and bolts. And uh, you might think that you're looking at a picture of the real Eiffel Tower when he shows it to you, but I can 100% assure you that this is actually a sandcastle creation. Johnny Sandcastle original with the original design by Johnny Sandcastle II. All right, let's take a look at it. amazing I can I can picture the rest of the city as I as I look at this perfect scale model recreation so the uh, the Arc de Triomphe is going to be about uh, eight feet over there I think um, the Louvre will be over here to the to the west probably about six feet I'd say um, I mean it looks like your canvas is wide open yeah, yeah, we got a lot of big plans here. We'll be here uh, all week, and uh, w the City of Lights Paris will be recreated in all its glory. And uh, we hope you can stick around and see some of it, but if not, at least you got the centerpiece of our display here, the Eiffel Tower. All right, thanks to Johnny Sandcastle and uh, the second, as he likes to be called, Stay tuned for more professional sandcastle building tips and tricks. And for now, uh -oh. sandcastle out. out.